All right, guys. Well, this is definitely not something that I would thought I would uh, shoot a video on. Hey, what's going on, guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, dude, you guys got to come with me on this one. We got about a fresh four to five inches of literally the slushiest, wettest snow I've ever seen. This is the most slush ever. It's crazy. Uh, the piles are stacking up. This right here is a four foot pile. I've got eight foot piles all around this uh, commercial site. It's absolutely ridiculous. Look at the plow just caked in snow. This right here, boom, boom, like absolutely ridiculous. I'll tell you guys what, the snow power has been doing amazing. Uh, we've already been making lanes at a bunch of our commercial sites, three o'clock in the afternoon. Snow's supposed to be done by five or six, but we're getting inch per hour rates right now absolutely wild this is the craziest wettest slushiest snowstorm i've ever had to deal with i'm telling you what the snow power is struggling man the truck is struggling when you're plowing 12 foot piles that way i don't know 1500 to 2000 pounds it's got to say something but nonetheless i'm going to take you guys with us got the gopro let's go uh plow some snow hit the rounds the first real snowstorm of 2023 let's go Well, I actually got to use the toe strap really quick. Uh, snow's still coming down, but I got to use this Rhino green toe strap. Some of you guys saw this on an unboxing we did last summer. This guy got stuck at the top of the hill. His brakes were just, uh, or his wheels were just spinning. So that's kind of cool. Got to help somebody out. Hey, I see it on Instagram all the time. This ain't no pavement princess. Let's go pull some big semi trucks out of the, out of the ditch or, well, this wasn't as dramatic, but it was still fun. So I'm trying to help people out. All right, let's get back to it.
hour later here and the snow is still coming down like freaking crazy. Look at this snow pile. That's ridiculous. Ugh. I need to get my GoPro. Okay. This is how I capture all the footage for you guys. Hey, if you want to do a solid and appreciate you, me, you guys appreciate me jumping in six foot tall snow piles to get some uh, footage for you guys. Thumbs up the video, man. Show some love, you know? Uh, again, making our lanes downtown, plowing fast. The snow is blast. Ding my face because it's uh, starting to get a little windy actually. But uh, any which way, the snowstorm that cut through, uh, how much did you guys get? Uh, I would say it's a good five to six inches here. Maybe seven or eight inches in some spots, but I'd say a good five to six inches, which is our second tier payout. So money, 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 money. Uh, that is called white gold, friends. The uh, plow is doing pretty good. That's all you really got, man. Plowing that snow, making that dough. Hope you guys are doing well. Rob and uh, Mark are about to hop off the highway here in a minute. We're gonna start tagging up some residentials. The reason I'm gonna help them out with the residentials today, and then we'll do all of the commercials together at night, is that the back dragging on this plow is freaking phenomenal. Loading docks, I was clearing out a bunch of those. Back dragging residentials, back dragging against uh, you know, certain cubbies that you can't get into with a plow. Absolutely fantastic. This being a wet snowstorm, uh, I'm going to be back dragging all the driveways because the boss kind of rides up a little bit. Doesn't have that down pressure. So any which way, I'm gonna hop back in the truck. It is cold, nasty, windy. You guys having some fun? This is awesome, man. However, first snowstorm finally on January 25th. Absolutely ridiculous.
Come on, give us a little something. How do they do? How do we do? Oh, yeah. hey, Bedell, one second, one second. We're on video. Don't say anything that can be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> How did the plot footage look? Great. Was it good? Yeah. I turned that uh, LED light yeah, bar off. Yeah, it was causing some flare. Flare, yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Bedell, uh, you want to say hey to the fam? Sure. What's up, everybody? Hope everyone's staying safe and staying warm. There you go. That's Michael Bedell. You guys know him. By the way, our last call, Bedell, before you hung up on me to talk to your girlfriend, how rude. I mean, talk about inconsiderate. That was, uh, I think, three hours and ten minutes I have here. <laughs> well, there you go. And That's, then. Uh, no, not back. the shortest, not the longest. But here he is, wants to talk to me again. Unbelievable. Gosh, you just can't get enough. I'm like a teddy bear. <laughs> All right. But I'll catch up with you here in a second. Uh, one second. All right, uh, guys, we're going to go to the next scene. All right, guys, what's up? It's about a couple hours later, a little after uh, 9.30. Actually, just got done getting some Mickey D's with the guys. We were tagged up. All the residentials are done. We're doing all the commercials. Here they come right now. This is the church that we do, the site. Absolutely beautiful. Those guys are doing such a good job. Uh, I'm actually going to tag up this uh, acre site right here. I got the GoPro going on top. You guys can see it right there. And uh, they're just making a bunch of windrow lanes uh, around this loop. All right, guys. Well, this is definitely not something that I would thought I would uh, shoot a video on, but my truck is definitely acting up, and this is not good. Uh, basically, long story short, I was plowing this lane all the way down, and I hit this speed bump literally the truck just started sputtering like crazy it's uh, about one o'clock in the morning here getting a little tired to be honest with you guys um was plowing like crazy all day no complaints nothing nothing wild pushing that heavy but nothing different than what i've been doing um can't get the truck to start might have to get it towed definitely not cool um, let me hit the start. Anybody know what this means or sounds like? That doesn't sound good. Well, it's about an hour later and unfortunately after a bunch of tinkering on the truck, we couldn't get it to start, any of that nonsense. We had uh, Mark and Rob, they threw their two cents at it. We tried to see what the heck is going on? Um, you can hear the stutter, uh, starter sputtering. It clicks and then sputters, won't turn over. So unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, we've got the uh, tow truck guy here. Gonna go drop it off at my local dealer. I'm hoping, here's the wishful thinking, Brian. I'm hoping that they can get it fixed by Friday or Saturday because we have another one to three inches coming in Saturday night into Sunday. And uh, I'd like to have both trucks, uh, as you guys would imagine, back out on the road. Hopefully the service department can give us a two day turnaround. Uh, we'll see what happens, but let's go check out the uh, tow truck. It's been a minute since I've had one of those. I think the last time I used a tow truck was the last time my F-150 broke down. And that was probably back in 2016. So I guess we're kind of due for it, right? Yeah, that's fine.
Alright guys, well, it is uh, about 15 more minutes later. I am freezing cold. Uh, my boy Chase here was able to hook up the truck and it is boogieing on down the road. This is one of those uh, sad moments here, but it's real life. We've documented the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, you hate to see something like this on a brand new truck. I mean, seven, eight months old, but again, I'm hoping it's a simple fix. Hopefully it's under warranty. Hopefully it's not $10,000 <laughs> or something ridiculous. Uh, that would not be cool. Thankfully though, we only have this site left that we're at. Rob's over here finishing it up. Shout out to my boy Foreman Rob, Mark, and uh, our other guy Ryan that are helping uh, out today. Uh, we only have one church left after this and uh, we'll be all done. So the guys should be wrapped up a little after three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've been out since about noon. It's a 13, 14 hour kind of plow run for me, minus the last hour, but any which way, uh, it's just, uh, you know, it, it kind of stinks, man, to be honest with you. I feel kind of like defeated, like this is a newer truck. We're supposed to not have these issues and uh, this is what already has me contemplating a third truck just to have a little bit more, um, just another backup, right? A backup after a backup. Not another $80,000 truck or $75,000 truck, nothing like that. Maybe another $40,000 truck, but any which way. Um, got mom back here. It's time for me to get going. That's my cue. And uh, that's what I got. Hey, if there is an expensive repair bill, you guys want to help me get this video to like a million views and that way we can pay for it. <laughs> Thanks, Chase. There's my boy. Uh, thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. And uh, that's what I got for you guys on today's video. You guys have a blessed night. We'll catch up with you on the next one.